All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and here in this video, I'll be showing you how to download, install and set up Vortex Mod Manager, as well as fixing some of the errors that will pop up once trying to manage some of the games on Vortex. That includes things like managing loose files as well as deployment issues. So to begin, you want to go to the Nexus Mods link that I'll leave in the top of the description below. Once there, you want to make sure that you are either logged in or register an account on Nexus Mods. You can do so by going to the top right profile icon logging in or registering if you haven't already. Once you are logged in, you are ready to download Vortex Mod Manager. You can do so on this page by scrolling down to the main files section. Here you will see Vortex and Vortex Custom Install Location. For the purpose of this video, you want to completely ignore the Vortex Custom Install Location. And we are going to be installing the primary main file for Vortex, as you can see here. So to download, all you have to do is click Manual Download, and it will ask you to save it somewhere on your PC. I suggest saving it to the Downloads directory, as you see on screen, and clicking Save. Now, if you're someone that runs into the issue of it not automatically starting the download within a couple of seconds, all you have to do is click this orange download button. The right side is just an optional premium benefits. You do not have to pay for Nexus mods. So now that the Vortex installer has been downloaded, open up your downloads folder and double click on the installer executable. And you will most likely be prompted with UAC asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Make sure you click yes. It will then begin the installation and Vortex setup. This process should only take a few moments. Vortex itself will launch automatically. When Vortex launches for the first time, you are either going to have to register or log in. There are two different ways you can do this. You can either log in through the dashboard or log in at the top right through the profile icon. Once you click log in, it will open up your default web browser and it will let you know that Vortex would like to access your Nexus Mods account. Go ahead and click Authorize. That will then automatically log you into your Nexus Mods account on Vortex Mod Manager. So now that we are logged in, we are ready to set up games to manage with Vortex. We can do so by going to the Games tab. And within the Games tab, we will see a Managed and Unmanaged section. Since this is our first time using Vortex, we do not have any managed games. And we can set up a game to be managed by Vortex by scrolling down to the Unmanaged section and finding any of our installed games, which will be colorized. As you can see for Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. If for some reason Vortex has not automatically detected one of your games, you can click the Scan for Games icon at the bottom right, which will initiate a scan across your PC to look for any games it may have missed or any newly installed games. Now, once you find the game that you would like to manage, in this case, I'm going to choose Fallout 4. All you have to do is hover over it and click Manage. And now the game will be listed in the Managed Game section. However, you may see the error, Mods Can't Be Deployed. So if we go ahead and click on Fix, it will bring up a notification about deployment methods. So just as a brief rundown, Vortex supports different deployment methods to support a wide variety of systems and games, but some may only be available with the right settings. So right now, none of the available deployment methods seem to be usable specifically for Fallout 4. However, this is usually an easy fix, and we can do so by clicking on Next. This will let you know about hardlink deployment, which is the method that is required for Fallout 4. And the explanation of the problem for hardlink deployment is that it only works if mods are installed on the same drive as the game. So in my situation, Fallout 4 is installed on a different drive than Vortex. The fix for this is very easy. All you have to do is click on Apply Fix, and that will bring us to the Mods tab for Fallout 4. And as you can see here, this is the Mod Staging folder. This is where Vortex is sending all the mods for this currently managed game. And as you can see, it's currently sending it into app data roaming, which is located on the C drive. However, Fallout 4 is located on my D drive. This is actually a very easy solution as Vortex now has a built-in option for this. And all you have to do is click on suggest. It will automatically change it to the drive that the game is on, create a brand new Vortex mods folder, and within that, create a folder specific to the game that is being managed. Once you have allowed Vortex to create a new mod staging folder for you, all you have to do now is click apply. And as you can see, the deployment method has now been set to hardlink deployment, which is the required deployment method for Fallout 4. So now Fallout 4 is set up and ready to go. Now there is one more error that you will frequently run into, and to demonstrate this, I'm going to choose to manage Fallout New Vegas. So now that we have set Fallout New Vegas to be managed by Vortex, we will once again get the Mods Can't Be Deployed error, 
which we now know how to fix, but we will also get another error that says loose files may not get loaded. If we click on more, it will give us an explanation that says the following. Due to oddities in the game engine, some loose files will not get loaded unless we change the file time on the vanilla BSA BA2 files. There is no drawback to doing this. So if we go ahead and click close and click fix, the issue is resolved. That's all you have to do. So now we have Vortex Mod Manager downloaded, installed, set up, and also we have fixed all of the errors that are very frequent on Vortex. And while that is the end of this video, if there is anything that you would like to see me make a video on for Vortex, please let me know down in the comment section below, and I will make that video as soon as possible. Remember, I am here to make your modding experience as easy as possible. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed or got something out of it. If you did, please smack that like button down below. Subscribe to Only Good Fight if you haven't already and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.